Chronicles of the Grim. Growth. Just go and check it out, he said. Go clear it up, he said. Bastard. I bet he signaled me out deliberately. Henry lowered himself into the darkness, thin rays of sunlight following him down from the manhole cover. With a grimace, he carefully took each rung of the ladder in the old tunnel, testing to ensure their sturdiness before placing his full weight on the decades-old metalwork. Feeling solid concrete underfoot, he breathed a sigh of relief. With fumbled, half-blind motions, he pulled the worn-out rebreather over his jaw, but no amount of filters could remove the taste of the fetid air. Right. Let's get on with it. He switched on the torch he held, scattering the darkness and the rats from around him. He checked the pitch black carefully. The gates had a notorious homeless problem, and it hadn't been too long since a maintenance worker had been on the business end of a jagged bottle a memory that caused him to affectionately pat the stab vest covering his ample frame. Anyone there? Hello? What is it, Harry? Henry, you down there yet? Yeah, no thanks to you. Next time, don't pull the short straw. You found the blockage yet? Give me a break. I just got down here. I'm as eager to get out of here as anyone, probably more. Yeah, well, these biscuits don't eat themselves. Best hurry up. I'm looking at the readout here, and it should be coming from Junction 32J. Just head over and sort it. Then you'll be back up here with the rest of us surface dwellers. As long as I don't get stabbed first. Whatever half-hearted response the foreman gave, Henry didn't notice. Instead, he focused on picking his way over strange patches of mushrooms growing from the cracks in the floor. He overstepped and crushed one of them under his boot, slipping a moment before he could steady himself against the wall. Oh shit. You're right there, Henry. Yeah, just tripped. Any word on Mike, by the way? I heard the cut was pretty deep. He should be out of hospital soon. Can't have been any worse than what his local normally gives him. Good. I know who to complain at for all this heavy stab best crap then. Ugh. Not far from the blockage now. How big was it meant to be again? I don't know. Great. Well, so long as I can actually deal with it, my self. Oh, for Neptune's sake. Henry frowned, his shoulders bracing as his torch caught the edge of a figure, leaning against the dirt encrusted wall. What? You fall in the sewage? No. I think there's a drunk down here. Hang on. Oi! Oi, you! This is a restricted area. Piss off! Hello? He approached cautiously, slowly moving around the edge of the figure as he kept his torch focused. The air turned noticeably fouler, and he almost vomited as he realized the man leaning against the wall was little more than a putrid corpse, leering from within yet another patch of gently pulsing mushrooms. Oh crap! He felt the bile rising, as morbid curiosity drew him closer, forcing him to stare at the unblinking husk. Black-capped mushrooms were slowly caking the man's skin, pushing up through the rotting flesh, as white, hair-like tendrils of mycelium grasped the liquid filth below. What sickened him the most was not the rotting husk itself, but the necromantic rise and fall of its breathing chest. <laughs> Unable to contain it any more, his stomach retched at the sight, bile filling the rebreather as he clumsily tore it off. The torch fell to the floor, extending its light down the tunnel to reveal shadowy forest of fungi that stretched off into the distance. He staggered back, coughing, looking disbelievingly at the jungle-like tree of mushrooms ahead, feeding off the slurry across the floor. Shocked, he reached down to the torch, only to see more bodies twitching beneath the web of white fibers that spread from the fungal growths across the floor. What sane part of his mind remained begged him to run, but shock and terror dulled him, and left him speechless and frozen in disgust and horror. Even as he stared, a ripple moved through the foliage, a gentle rattle filling the silence. Henry, everything all right down there? 
Henry snapped back to his senses, horrified to see the rotting figures start to move. White fibers pulled on the tearing muscles, reaching the deathless limbs up like some kind of rotten puppet. Henry staggered back, too terrified to even scream. At last, adrenaline kicked in, and he snapped forward to grab the torch, horrified as the white root-like fibers reached up for the warmth of his hand. He slapped them away, unaware of the rising rattle behind him. He turned around in panic, casting the torchlight across the tunnel, as he saw more bodies rising from within the web of fungal roots and lurching from within the pulsating forest of mushrooms in the deeper tunnel ahead. Sightless horrors gazed back at him, black mushrooms pulsing across their decaying flesh with small puffs of dusty spores. Not just men, but rats and other vermin pulled free of their slumber, staggering towards him with nightmarish cracks of brittle bone. He turned and tried to run, only to see it rise from the filth of the floor. A thing that defied logic loomed, brown capped with a luminous hood that hissed and rattled as a long stinger withdrew from within his fungal flesh. The stinger snapped forward, and the torch fell once more to the ground, flickering as the wisping tendrils of mycelium twisted about it, pulling it slowly into the darkness as the rattling ceased. A new life.